organic recycling is a mucky business. You know, there's there's no point in being precious about it. Yeah, it's dirty, it's smelly, it's it's basic, it's elemental. Um, linking linking what we do back to back to agriculture is is nothing new. The Norfolk four course rotation, which on which agricultural fertilising has been founded since time immemorial, is based on the returning organic manures and materials to land as fertilisers. We just got lazy in the last 40 years and, and bought them from an oil pipeline instead. Currently, food waste is rejected from restaurants, hotels, school canteens and the kitchen table, put into the domestic refuse bag and taken away and sent to landfill. Food waste in landfill generates methane. Methane is 18 times more damaging to the ozone layer than CO2 emissions. So every kilogram of food waste that ends up in landfill has the potential to dramatically increase greenhouse gases. Recycling your food waste is, is one of the most important things you can do. It's better for the environment than changing your car for a hybrid. The great thing about this process is it's self-heating. It's called autothermal thermophilic aerobic digestion. That's a bit of a mouthful. It basically means it's a self-heating compost heap. So we use minimal energy here and let the bugs do all the work. This is a controlled natural reaction. All we're doing is capturing that reaction, harnessing it and supercharging it. This plant operates at 75 degrees centigrade, which is a temperature that pasteurizes the food waste material, eliminating all risks of, of disease and pathogens. It does that by using the naturally occurring bacteria, which we harness in these digester vessels uh, and process the waste very efficiently under its own steam. So there's no artificial heat used in this process, unlike a lot of other technologies, to comply with the regulations which we operate under. We made a conscious decision to locate at, inside the Greater London area. London has a huge food waste problem. There is over a million tonnes per year. Most of the food waste isn't collected, it goes to landfill. What is collected is transported 60 miles out to Kent and Bedford for treatment. The road miles into our plant are typically eight miles. Waste is delivered in, into the site, tipped into the silo, the silo moves it to the shredder, the shredder grinds it up into little bits. Metals and plastics are, are extracted. We end up with a thick porridge. These vessels are aerated and we establish the, uh, a colony of naturally occurring bacteria which break down and digest the, the food waste. At the end of the process, it's stabilised and fully treated. We put it through a dewatering plant uh, and turn it into a solid fertiliser that looks like compost. Our process here is carbon positive in operation, and that, that, that stands alone in, in all technologies that are currently deployed in the UK today. Um, we achieve that in the main from our end product. Our process in itself is very efficient and has a high throughput, occupies a small footprint and, land and, and low land use. Um, and that's all, all good. An existing building is also um, carbon, carbon beneficial. But the key element of, of our um, carbon positivity is, is in our end product. The fertilizer that Vertel produces contains all the essential nutrients that are, are required to grow a commercial crop, uh, be that wheat, be that barley, be that oilseed rape. Displacing the use of petrochemical um, derived inputs, which are reliant on oil and gas for their production, and as a result are intensely carbon negative, it has huge environmental benefits. Most of the food that is consumed in the world is produced because of the advances made in agriculture since the um, Second World War. We're now in the post-development phase um, where the consequences of the success and the profligacy of the last 50 years are, are, are coming home to roost. The, the world is at, is at a carbon crossroads. Major strategic decisions have got to be made right across the world. What we can do is to start to address the carbon imbalance. We're diverting waste from landfill, reducing carbon emissions and transport, and we're making a fertilizer. Waste is a is a dirty business. People don't want to know generally. Um, uh, before recycling, you know, it was all in landfill. It was all causing a causing a, an environmental hazard. It was causing a smell. It was something that didn't want to be discussed. That's now starting to change. Um, 
people are much more interested in what happens to the waste, much more interested in the environmental impacts of, of waste treatment, and you know, people are becoming more informed, and that's, that's only a good thing. This is part of the sustainable loop. Our process completes the recycling circle. What you scrape off the plate is helping to grow your, your next meal, your next, next loaf of bread. It's as simple as that.